Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is Justin with Retro Game Hunters, and today we're going to be pretty much going over a script by uh, Retro Driven again. It's going to be another short little video, but I don't know. I kind of like these, and it's pretty useful information, I think. And he makes pretty awesome scripts. So, like I said, be sure to follow him. Uh, right now, we're just kind of going to his GitHub page. Uh, his page will have all the instructions on how to use the script and what it's going to do, what its functions are, and basically how to put it into either via your SD card uh, through the mister or just FTP using your favorite FTP client. So what we're going to do is pretty much just go to script download and then above that area, if there's any changes, any updates to it, you'll kind of see it there. And then you just go ahead and click on it, click on the raw file, copy everything, post it in a notepad, you know, save it as whatever, uh, text file, name it whatever, and then there you go, there's the updated script. But we're just going to go ahead and click it, download it. Uh, I lied to you, I'm not going to download it. I already did download it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click cancel on that eventually. Maybe. Am I thinking about it? I'm thinking about it. Yep. What am I going to do? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, there we go. I click cancel. All right. This, this is fun. This is fun. This is good. All right. So uh, I'm going to, I'm not going to do an SD card. I am just going to FTP into it and I'm going to use FileZilla for that. And go ahead and type in my IP address here. I don't really care if you guys know that because it's my, well, it's my private IP. That's that's pretty much everyone's IP. You know, default password is one. Default username is root. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new session here. FTP into. Oh no, we're not gonna FTP into it. Ah crap! I did. My Mister's not on. Okay. All right. Hold on. I'm doing that now. Does anybody know any good jokes? Anything? No. And how, how was everyone's weekend? Was it good? You have a good weekend? Or, you know, week, day? You have a good day? Hope you had a good day. Man, I probably could cut all this, but I don't really, I don't really feel like, oh, here we are. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and click on those two little dots there. We're going to go up a directory. We're going to go over to, you know, as uh, it says back on his page here, so media then fat and then scripts and you're just gonna place the script in there now you can either you know browse through filezilla itself and place the script in there or you could just you know go through your file explorer and find where you put the script and drop it in either or doesn't matter i already went ahead and did this step but that's a step you guys will have to do pretty much what I'm going to show you up here is so it's going to create a folder uh, under your arcade folder your existing arcade folder because it is running these scripts for updating it's running the wallpaper script uh, so it's going to create that wallpaper folder if you haven't previously ran that script but it's going to create a unofficial uh, folder now you can kind of change this uh, but this is just how it's laid out in retro driven script but you can like you know, put that unofficial folder and just call it CPS1, you know, under Arcade alone. But like I said, this is just how it's laid out under his script. Uh, if you want to know how to kind of change that stuff around, let me know, and I can make a little video on that. Uh, but really what the script does is it downloads all the MRA files, and it downloads uh, the CPS1 script, or I'm sorry, the <laughs> CPS1 cores, uh, that uh, Jatago made, or Jatago, I'm probably butchering that, I do apologize, but uh, that dude's fantastic, definitely give him a follow as well, uh, you know, he created all of these CPS1 cores. The games, uh, I'm using the MAME 0.219 ROM set, but you can get away with the 0.218 from what I've heard, and you're just going to place them under MAME. Alright, so we're going to head over to the Mr. Uh, on here, I said that really creepy and weird, I'm sorry. Uh, you can either hit escape on your keyboard and that'll take you over to this little uh, file right here. Uh, you can go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard or if you're using your controller and you have those buttons mapped, you can just hit your A button. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit yes. We're gonna go down to what the script is called. I left it at its default name. So retro driven update suite. I'm gonna go ahead and hit A again. 
and this is going to kind of run the script. But uh, as you can see, we're going to do the run all essential scripts autopilot mode, but you can choose to run them individually if you'd like, but you know, this video is pretty much about running the uh, autopilot one. So we're going to let it do its thing, and um, you'll continue to hear my voice in a few minutes, or seconds, a few seconds. Hey, now wasn't that lovely? Look at that, we're done. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, I mean, as you can see, you can run them individually, but, you know, it's this is really just about running that autopilot mode. Uh, it will download the MRA files, like I said, and the RBF files, so everything you need to get these arcade games running. Um, like I said, you just need to download the ROMs and put them in the games folder under MAME. So let's try out a core here. Uh, these arcade ones are pretty much downloaded from that default like updater script that you first run. Um, so you know we're just gonna play a game from here real quick, and I'm gonna go ahead and select my personal favorite game. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I like hamburgers and I'm kind of chunky. So let's play some Burger Time. Uh, so what you can do is map the buttons, it's pretty straightforward, right, left, down, up, uh, fire is pretty much whatever button you're going to use to throw your pepper at the enemies. I kind of messed up back there and had to use my keyboard to hit enter to uh, yeah, make that all invalid. But yeah, uh, here we go, we're playing Burger Time. Uh, the sound is great, it, it plays fantastic, uh, you know, this is, a, I don't want to say a recreation, but I don't really know what else to call it. Uh, of the hardware that you know this PCB ran on um, or this arcade ran on this is this is pretty fantastic and I'm just gonna you know squish that hot dog I never really got was that a hot dog is that a pickle pretty sure it's a pickle but it's beet red and that's like a red pickle that's got to be like a weird innuendo or something it, you know what I'm, I'm not gonna worry about that let's just let's just try another game that was I'm having disturbing thoughts now let's play Street Fighter Zero all right, here we go. Street Fighter Zero. I personally love Street Fighter. I'm pretty sure I've professed my love for this or confessed. I don't know if I'm using that word correctly, but you know, it doesn't matter. Let's enjoy this game. Yeah. All right, gonna go ahead and uh, map my buttons here. I'm using the uh, Hori Fighting Commando. Uh, this uh, so Pork Chop Express. Uh, the dude who runs the Mr. Add-ons, uh, he created this uh, spreadsheet basically with all these lag times for the controllers, which is pretty friggin' awesome. So definitely follow him on Twitter, and you know any Mr. Needs, definitely go through his site, uh, Mr. Add-ons. But yeah, this I'm super glad I already had this controller because it was pretty highly rated as far as um, zero lag. And then uh, you know Ryu is definitely one of my favorite characters to play in every Street Fighter. And, uh, kicking Joe's ass from King of Fighters here. Oh, I'm sorry, Aiden. And, uh, yeah, man. I, I mean, I don't know. It, all this is playing super smoothly. It's The colors are great. The resolution's fantastic. It's running at 1080p. I, I have no real complaints about this. Uh, there's, there's zero. The only complaint, which isn't even really a complaint, it's just something that kind of happens, um, with some of these cores is if you ever see some weird crap going on and it's like I loaded it up last time and it was just like a giant orange screen with like bright green on the side and it was crazy looking but what I pretty much had to do at that point was just reboot it once you reboot the machine go back to that core it's perfectly fine everything works I just kicked Aiden's ass he's kind of laying on the floor unconscious pretty sure he needs a a doctor or something, but uh, you know, we're not gonna call a doctor, we're gonna call Captain Commando. So let's check this shit out. Yeah, anybody remember Captain Commando? Capcom's mascot did not look the way he looks in this game, but uh, you know, it was it was definitely different. But that's okay, he looks kind of badass in this. I'm gonna set the controllers here. Now there are more settings you can mess with inside of here, but uh, it's really just not showing you guys that. I'm just kind of showing you the game. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and be 
Not Captain Commando. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be Baby Commando. I don't... Where's this kid's parents? I don't know why they're even letting him on this. These streets look terrible. None of those papers are filed. I'm pretty sure it just looks like coke lines on the ground there. I'm not really sure. That guy's smoking crack. That's not That's not good. That's probably why I chose that purple outfit. Oh, look at that. It's kind of cute. You know, Capcom right on the door there. I don't know what store that is, but apparently 3D TV store. That's fun. That guy has really tight jeans. He's trying to stab me. I don't, is, that a, is that a vest? I'm not really sure. I'm just going to run around as his baby and kick the shit out of people. Throw people against walls. It's pretty exciting stuff. Oh, that dude's mech is way bigger than mine. Take that. Yeah. I'm going to jump in that shit. There we go. Yep, jump. There we go. Yeah. This is awesome. This is a mech and mech. This is like a like mechception. Is that a... Shut up. You guys know that was a good joke. I don't give a shit. That's liars. I'm going to throw you. I'm going to throw you. I'm going to try to throw you again. Yep. Successful. Successful. Successful toss. I'm going to punch this guy in the dick. Right in the dick. Right in the dick. Dick punch. Dick toss. Aw. You knocked me out of my damn robot. Alright, I'm going to shut up. Enjoy some gameplay. And we're getting towards the end here. Uh, as always, guys, I just wanted to say thank you very much for watching any of the videos I put out. Uh, you know, uh, hopefully stores are starting to open up a little bit more, but they're still requiring masks. So it's going to be a bit until we do start to actually go out and travel more. Uh, in the meantime, I hope you enjoy these videos and little tutorials I try to do. Uh, as always, hitting like and subscribe. At this point, it just makes me feel better. Um, makes me feel like the stuff I'm doing is, you know, people are watching it. So, thank you. Have a great day. Peace.